Welcome to Hivika Technologies. For more updates, please like and do subscribe. Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing good. So when you look at the screen, you will understand that today we are going to discuss on how to uh, create a custom domains in IQ bars. So uh, to prepare this, I have almost uh, spent uh, three weeks of time to do the R&D and uh, make this work. So I need your uh, support to do many like this on the advanced product features. So uh, I th I hope this is the very first video tutorial on IQ bots custom domain creation in the internet world. So even during my R&D, I have explored, I have looked for these kind of a tutorials in YouTube and Google. I never found a one. So that is the reason I just thought of making this to make everyone's life easier. So uh, you might, uh, you know, seen like how we can use the IQ bot with the default features, right? So today what I'm going to do is we are going to enhance the product and we are going to add a new custom domain with our needs or as for my as for our business requirements. So as part of this, these are all the things which we are going to cover today. So I will show you guys how to create, uh, you know, the JSON structure for the custom domain and uh, we may need to have Postman client to interact with the automation anywhere APIs and we should require uh, authorization token to interact with uh, you know APIs and these are all the things and, and at the final we will see how to import that domain domain J, you know JSON into the uh, IQ bots so let me go back to my uh, IQ bots and I will show you what are the listed uh, domains are available here so these are all the domains you can see by default which is provided by automation aware on these four languages you can see uh, there is an invoice and there is a purchase order, so all those things. And you can see the languages which is supported by English, German, French, Spanish and Italian, right? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own custom domain with uh, Portuguese language, right? Portuguese as well as the English. So let's see how to do that. So if I go back to my uh, agenda, so the first one is, let's see how to create a JSON structure with the different uh, alias names so for this what I did was uh, as I as I mentioned I'm going to do uh, custom domain <coughs> custom domain for Portuguese right so I have done some kind of uh, Google translations to prepare uh, some kind of a test data or the fields data so this is what you can see here and these are all the field mappings and alias names for each one so there is a date field i am going to keep it in my custom domain date field and this is the english language and uh, this is the portuguese language translation so like this i have created a field mapping uh, table for almost uh, six seven fields and i'm going to use this uh, fields in my json structure so this is my field mapping and alias so vat number this is the one and these are all the alias names uh, I just given only three for each field if you want you can do any n number of also right so let me go back and show how uh, you know the JSON looks like so I just prepared one JSON file as well so here is the JSON and uh, I named the JSON as uh, the custom domain name as Portuguese hyphen English and uh, it's going to deals with the two languages uh, comes under the drop down and I have created the invoice date and this is the field name and uh, these are all the Portuguese language uh, alias names and this is the English language alias names so I, I just made this kind of uh, things and I just made uh, the same fashion for all the fields which I shown in the Excel file so whatever here is right so for all of them I have created in my JSON so this is what the JSON here so now what I'm going to do is uh, you can just see back and forth so there is no domain which you can see in automation anywhere IQ bots with Portuguese hyphen English right so once we imported this we, are, we can go back to automation anywhere IQ bots here you were able to see that 
okay let me do how we can do that okay so I wanted to connect to Postman client and I will show you what are the things we required to do this in Postman client okay so I just already added the plugin Postman client to my Google Chrome I'm just launching that so if I can go back to my uh, demo one PPT so here is the way we can do it this is the this is the one which you which we are going to use uh, to import the domain information JSON and this is the URL you we may need to use and uh, under the header we may need to pass all this information okay X authorization we may need to pass for that we may need to generate a authentication token and uh, all of this right let's move on uh, here is uh, my postman client and uh, I already done this and uh, you know here is my JSON so if you can see the same JSON whatever I have in that uh, text file the same JSON you can see here I'm just going to take this and replace there just for you guys showing there is nothing hidden secret behind it so I just uh, taken the JSON under the body as I mentioned in header right we are going to uh, we are going to plus the X authorization and we have to give uh, the application content type is this and uh, care set will be this right so I will show you how to generate this authorization token okay and let me go ahead and show that is this authorization token which I mentioned here is already expired it will be whenever you generate right it is going to be max 15 minutes validity so it's it's been a long back I have done this so it is I hope this got expired I will just uh, go and execute this and I will show you what is the error we will get if the authorization token is invalid or the authorization token is expired okay so let's click send see here you can see the status code as 401 unauthorized right so because this is unauthorization unauthorized because of the token is expired right let me go back to my ppt and i will show you how to generate the authorization token so there are three different ways you can generate the authorization token one is using username password of the control room and the other one is using the api key and the other one is two-factor authentication so when you use the ad account you can use this option uh, rest of two or you can use for the normal user also let me go back to the another one so here is uh, how to do that using uh, username password right so you can just take the uh, you know your uh, control room URL and give this as it is just plug here your control room URL and let's everything will be let it be same and this is going to be the post method which we are going to use in the you know postman client and you need to pass this under the body username and the password let me go back here and I will just show you that so here it is the one uh, which I already pre-configured uh, again I am there is nothing behind uh, the secret so whatever I shown there I am just going to show here so I have shown these things right so this is way I can if I do hit I will get authorization token here so here is my authorization token let me pull it up right so this is my authorization authorization token let me copy this and see whether it is a valid or not so to check whether it is a valid or not we have some set of things you need to do uh, I will show that here API key this is the process of how to generate using the API key and this is the process how we can verify whether the token is valid or not so you can go to the control room URL give the control room URL and give this token authentication slash token and keep a equal there and put a token then you will get you can use the get method you will get to know the response or you can use a postman client or you can just directly go to the you know browser and here whereas where I mentioned a token right in that place you can just give a uh, the token which I generated just now and I hit enter you will get the results as like this I will just show you both of them so uh, here I just uh, created how to validate it let me check so here uh, is the token right not not there so here it is the token 
so after the equal here is we have and I'm just removing the previous token just uh, give the one which I just now created and uh, do you see the method is get and I'm just sending the request so here you got valid even you can verify the same way let me do it from the browser Control G I think I did something let's do Control V yeah I'm just taking this uh, complete URL through the browser browser also you can do this let's give it here and do enter see you got valid which means my token is not expired it is valid okay now I will just show you how to do the import right so <clears throat> let me go back and take my token so this is my token I'm just taking this and uh, I'm in the as I mentioned in the initial right so this is the uh, URL and I'm just going to use the post method okay so now I'm just going to update my authorization token here let's go here remove the existed one and give the new one right so uh, when I use the expired one you might see in the authorization problem here right 401 error so let me uh, this is I'm just showing you again for your reference uh, this is the JSON structure which I used and uh, you can see the domain name is Portuguese iPhone English and it supports both languages English and uh, you know Portuguese and English if you want to add a uh, different languages like Chinese and you know Polish and Japanese whatever it is you can add uh, that many languages and all right let me send a request now you can see status 200 and ok so the domain is imported successfully now let's verify whether that particular domain is imported or not okay let's go back to uh, IQ bots so this is my IQ bots so here if you can see here you don't see the domain name which I mentioned here so the domain name which I mentioned Portuguese iPhone English right let me go back and refresh the page you can see this so here it is just now it got imported and uh, this is we can use and we can build our own uh, things right so if I go to a learning instance uh, if I go and create a new one you can see you can see there is an invoice if you select this you can see only the specified languages which is automation where supports all this right and I'm going to the domain which I created just now this is the Portuguese hyphen English so if I go here again I mentioned here in the JSON two languages one is English and the other one is Portuguese right so that is why I can see the drop down with two languages by default it comes as English and I can select Portuguese and I can try in my bot and try in my learning instance all those things right so in the next video I am going to show you how to train and how to execute uh, the how to create this learning instance for those Portuguese right so I already created some uh, test data for this this is what uh, I created so here is the PDFs so this is uh, you know kind of a data in Portuguese in the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to extract these different layouts this is one layout of uh, data and if I can go back to uh, this is the layout 2 which is comes in the middle and the fields are jumbled and there is one more layout I'll just show that so here is the another layout so which is going to extract the data from the three different layouts which is in uh, Portuguese language so this is how we can uh, customize our product so you might be seen till now uh, like whatever it is there in the IQ bots you just worked on it so now I, I just shown how to customize the product with your needs so some cases might be your business might require to work with a different layouts or the different fields values which are not there in any of these uh, you know predefined uh, features you can go ahead and create with your own layout or you can go ahead and create with your own language as well and I'm just going to show you something interesting and whatever uh, you know uh, whatever the language is which automation where is going to support 
to create these right uh, custom layouts uh, I think somewhere we can see language master I think there are some around 20-30 uh, 20-30 languages are there so these are all the languages the 31 languages I just added uh, this one and some other ones uh, I think 30 languages which automation where supports if you wanted to add any additional you can do that but uh, there will be uh, different uh, you know uh, places you need to add right so I am done uh, on this today session in the next session I am going to show you guys how to create the learning instance for the Portuguese language and how to train the bot uh, train the uh, with the documents and how to use that in the uh, task part in A2019 I hope uh, this video helps you to understand how we can do the customization of the IQ bots with our needs right so uh, to get the further videos updates on my or my further tutorials please like and uh, subscribe the channel so that whenever I upload the videos you will get a notification thanks for watching bye bye I hope this video helps you to get more updates Please like and subscribe the channel. Please leave your comments and questions in the comments section. We'll get back to you.